Hi there, in this video I'm going to make the uh, gears for the Hoggle engine and uh, if you fancy having a go and you've never made any gears before I recommend this book. It goes into quite a lot of detail and uh, it covers all the terminology as well. Okay so there are two gears to be made, there's the cam gear which I'm going to make out of brass and there's a crankshaft gear I'm going to make out of mild steel. Now, um, there's a couple of interesting formulas. Um, to make the blank, and I, and I need to determine the outside diameter of each of these gears. And to do that, you take the number of teeth plus two and you divide it by the DP. So the cam gear is 32 DP with 40 teeth. So the outside diameter is 40 plus 2 divided by 32 which gives a blank size diameter of 1.3125 and for the crankshaft it has to be a 32 dp gear to match the other one and that's 20 teeth so the outside diameter is 22 divided by 32 which gives um, 0 0.6875 outside diameter for the blank Another interesting formula is the pitch circle diameter and this is where the two gears where the teeth mash, uh, sort of mash together and uh, the, the pitch circle diameter, the PD, is equal to the number of teeth divided by the DP. So um, the PD on the cam gear is 40 divided by 32 which is 1.125 and uh, the PD on the crankshaft gear is 20 divided by 32 which is 0.625 and when I cut these gears when I cut the teeth for a 32 dp cutter I need to cut to a depth of 0 0.067 of an inch So I'm looking for uh, 1.3125 and that comes in at 1.3122 so uh, 3 tenths of a thou out so I'm happy with that. Well that looks alright, I just need to make the other one now, but I'll do that off camera using exactly the same method. Well that's the two blanks finished, so now I need to go over to the mill and set up the rotary table. Well I don't know, sometimes things just don't go uh, well. Uh, I bought this, these cutters, um, I got two of them from RDG Tools. And uh, this particular one wouldn't fit onto this holder. And I found that it's about two tenths of a thou smaller than an inch in diameter. 
So I've just spent about an hour um, with my uh, Dremel type tool, the Proxon, uh, trying to remove a little bit of material. But anyway, I've managed to do it now. So uh, what I've done is I've um, set up my um, little rotary table and uh, got that square and uh, put on uh, my rotary controller, my World of Ward controller. And um, I've got this uh, collet chuck in here, which is a, an MT2 collet chuck. And the first thing to do is to make sure that the cutter is central. So I've uh, locked the Z axis down and uh, on to the next step. So the next thing to do is to make sure that this um, sort of support for the mandrel is on centre which it is so I'll bolt that into place okay so I've checked I've got the right cutter on there which is a 35 to 54 tooth cutter so I'm going to cut 40 teeth I've sent my division controller to 40 teeth 40 divisions um, I touch the cutter on the far edge and then I advance the table that way by 67 thou which is what's needed for a 32 dp cutter so I think we're all, all okay to, and ready to go and um, what I'll do is I'll take up any backlash by advancing and then I'll lock the table and then we'll try and cut I've also set the um, limits on the uh, power feed and the x-axis.
looking good. Well, that seems to have gone well. So uh, I need to repeat the same process for this smaller gear. So I'll have to make a, another mandrel. I, I just super glued that on so I can just apply some heat to get that off. So yeah, so I'll uh, make a mandrel to hold that. Super glue it on. And I'll change the cutter to that one. Which is a, let me see, a 17 to 20 tooth. So I'll be cutting 20 teeth. Uh, and it's a number six cutter. But I'll do all that off camera. Well, I know it's a crude test, but uh, they seem to turn okay. Well, I just couldn't believe it when I found that the internal diameter of that was out. There always seems to be another job to do. But anyway, I managed to sort it. And uh, the gears have turned out reasonably well. L look okay and turn alright. I think in reality they're going to be offset from the body. Um, but uh, so far so good. So uh, I hope you found the video of interest and uh, I hope to see you later.